What's happening? I'm K-Dub. You're here in West Oakland at Town Park. Peace. K-Dub, what's the history of Town Park? Man, the history of Town Park goes down back with the first hood games that we did in East Oakland. Carl Watson and I and my mom put together one in 2005 in East Oakland. And from that day on, I wanted to gather our skate community together with our artists and musicians and create a venue, create a, a go-to event. And from that, we kept pushing and doing events in the streets, in the, in the, in the schools and parking lots, getting it to the point where I was able to talk to the city and um, we were able to take over the space here about six years ago. So that next phase includes Levi's. How did they get involved and what are they bringing to the table here? Man, it was amazing. Uh, basically, the connection was made through Ken at uh, FTC Skate Shop when he did the first For the Cash event, actually two years ago. Introduced me to some of the cash to Levi's. In some kind of way, Eric got in contact with me and was like, yo, you know, you're right. What we're doing with skateboarding culture and putting it on a map to help with folks with the uh, do-it-yourself spot. So this is kind of like a do-it-yourself spot just on city property. And this is only phase one, right? Yeah, we hope that we can get, you know, finish it off. You know, at least maybe keep the wood mini. But other than that, you know, start phase one and start maybe phase two at the beginning of the year. Are you seeing a lot of new faces, kids that are just getting into skateboarding as a result of this? Oh, definitely. I've probably given away at least 500 boards this year, yeah. you know, I mean, easily. And then because we don't have really a skate shop in Oakland, so it's kind of like your skate shop for your hub. So we kind of, you know, make sure they have enough equipment. And then also we're getting so many kids that are coming out of the hills and other parts of the Bay Area to participate in. And what's your story? I'm told that you're an art teacher by day? Yeah, I'm an art teacher, man. Yeah, I, you know, I used to skate a lot when I was younger, you know, skate at Marina Del Rey Skate Park. My high school was LA High with those banks on the front. You know, I kind of knew about skate culture a little bit, so when I was teaching in Oakland High School, started a skate club after seeing so many youth starting to be gravitated back towards the sport, and decided to start a skateboard club, and from that we started doing hood games, and now we have a skate park here in West Oakland. You know, what it is, is like uh, just an extension of the classroom, you know, so what we're doing in the classroom, even the other school I'm working on now, Willow Creek Academy in Sausalito, we just opened up a skate park there, so a lot of things that my students are doing are for that public park. We do projects in the classroom, but mainly my thing is about getting the artwork out of the classroom. Venue like this, having the art and the music and everything, it just goes hand in hand. And there's an X Games tied to this park, correct? Oh yeah, I mean, X Games has been there from the beginning. It's like right at the beginning when I started doing Hood Games, I think Carl and I, we were at X Games in 2004 in LA. Just started talking about doing the Hood Games and from that, X Games sent Skate Light up. Uh, they would let me use ramps or bring ramps out to my events. And, uh, about six years ago, uh, Tim Reed allowed us to bring our kids from yeah. Oakland, LA, and Long Beach to skate on the X Games street course before the pros. And then, you know, it's just been kind of things like giving youth a platform. Like, I'm always about the platform more than I am about the brand. The fact